Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna learn Windmills of Your Mind. It's a masterpiece of a song, both composition-wise and lyric-wise. So first I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, finger position by finger position, with tabs right here on the screen, as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so put on E minor. And before you play E minor, check out my free three hour guitar workshop that I've prepared especially for you, my beloved Lick and Riffers, on lickandriff.com. If you go right now to lickandriff.com, you can enroll for free for my three hour free guitar workshop. Okay, it's a series of videos designed to help you break your playing free from confining habits and unleash your creativity on the instrument. And it's completely free. Lickinref.com. So, E minor. Okay, and I just play okay, strings one, two, three, and six. So you can put on E minor, or you can just leave your hand off the guitar, it's the same thing. Okay, strings one, two, three, and six. We're not playing, okay, we're not playing two and two on strings four and five. And then you play zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero on the second string. Okay, and you can embellish it if you like. Okay, you can vibrate. Okay, and then you have the open E string again. So it's B, B, C, C, B, B, and then E, E. Okay, now you can let the E minor chord ring. Okay, and then you have the second string twice more. Then you have three, three, two, zero on the first string. And then you have B7. Okay, and you have two on the first string, that's your melody note. And then you have the same line on the second string that you had after E minor. Okay? And then you have two two on the first string. Okay, so you're still in B7. So you can take your first finger off of the fourth string and play it on the second string when you need to. Okay? You can play the chord or the bass note anytime you want. Okay, you can arpeggiate freely. You don't have much time, you don't have too much space to fill, but you can fill it any way you want. Okay, just be gentle about it. No, don't play too many notes. Then you have the second string twice more and then Okay, 5-5 five, five on the first string, 3-2 on the first, and then E minor again with 3 on the first string. So it's... Okay, now you can, again, leave the chord off and just play strings 1, 2, 3, and 6, or put it on just in case. Okay, 
just in case you are afraid of hitting a wrong string or if you want to strum the whole chord. Then 003300 on the first string and then you have okay, E7. 797 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay, 797. Okay, with the sixth string again. And then you have. Okay, it's 9, 9 on the third string, and then 10, 10 on the first. Now you can slide into the 9. Okay, you have your first finger barring. Okay, so you just slide to 9. Okay, and then 10, 10 on the first string, then 8, 7. And then you put on a D minor shape on 8 with the A string. Okay, this is A minor. 8, 10, 9, and the A string. And then you have A7799777 okay, seven, seven, nine, nine, seven, seven on the third string. And then you play that same seventh chord two frets down, so it's D7. 575, okay, with the D string. And then you do the same move. You can slide into 7, okay, 7-7 seven, seven on the third, and 8-8 eight, eight on the first. And then you have 7-5, then you have this, okay, and then you have 7-7-5-5 seven, seven, five, five on the third string, or 5-5-7-7-5-5 five, five, seven, seven, five, five if you want. And then you have this, okay, it's C major 7, it's 3 on the first string, and 3 on the fifth string. Okay, the major 7 note is the open B string, it's the open second string. Okay, so you have G major 7. Okay, and then you have 0077, seven, 5 3, and then this chord. Okay, this is A minor 6. You put on 5 and 5 on strings 1 and 3, and you put on 4 on the 4th. Okay, it sounds diminished until you play the A string. Okay, then it becomes A minor. Okay, it's A minor 6. So it's 5, 5, 4, 0 on strings 1, 3, 4, 5. Then you have, okay, the third string twice on 5 and then the open second string twice. Now you can play the second string, the third, and then the second. Okay, so... have B7 again with 2-2 two, two on the first string and then okay the open second string twice and then 5-5 five, five on the first 3-2 and then you have this a diminished chord this time it is diminished okay it's 3-2 on strings 1 and 2 and 2-1 on strings 4 and 5 Okay, the little finger on the first string, and then the third finger on the second, the second finger on the fourth, the first finger on the fifth. And then, okay, it's 2-2 two, two on the third string, and then 3-3-2-0 three, three, on the first. Okay, so it's, and then B7. Now, you can play the 2-2 two, two on the second string if you want. Okay, but this creates, because it's a tritone, okay, it's an interval, it's a, okay, it's a sort of an interval. Because it's a tritone, it sounds like a mistake. Okay, so 2-2 two, two on the third string solves that problem. Okay, and then I have B7, and then the open second string twice again. 2-2-0 two, two, on the first, and then 4 on the, th uh, on the second string, you can slide, and then you have E minor, again. And that's your lesson, that's your arrangement. You can download the tab for free, okay? 
Click the link below in the description. It'll take you to the Lick and Ref website where you can download all my tabs for free and also join the free three hour workshop. So I will see you there and uh, have fun. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy.